Nope. Come on. Okay. Uh, I should turn off a few things. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Come on. Yeah, they gotta sign me out. Yes. Alright. Uh, okay, so that's off. Uh, where's my checkbox? Here it is. Let's go ahead and pop that out. Let's pop out the chat. And... What else, what else? There we go. Let's go ahead and lower that. And... Greetings, Mr. Analog. I see you are the first to arrive and type in a chat. Okay, I'm not going to talk like the medieval times. That's that's going to be way too much to improvise. It's going to be way too much effort to put in. Uh, where is it? Good afternoon, Golden. How have uh, you been? I have been good. I, well, let me, uh, where is it? Let's go ahead and pull out the donation bar. Window and everything and getting all set up and shit. I always make separate windows. Um, hello, uh, Plagandadrian7. I can't pronounce that to save a life. My bad, dude. Um, alert box and Sonic versus the Flip. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and switch that over. So, um, now the chat log can be read. Should this go on YouTube? which it probably is, and anybody who's watching on YouTube, I thank you, Darth Revan226, for hosting. I got it right this time. It kept saying, like, Raven in the past. Anyways, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, anybody who's watching this on YouTube, you can kind of piece that together yourself. It's Plague and Adrian. My name is based off the two characters from Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. I hear that name a lot. Like, I've seen a few clips of the show. Um, it looks really, like, weird. Like, okay, what I mean by weird is, you have this idea of, you know, these alleged superpowers that they have. But every, like, it, it has to do with just the fact that when it's animated in CGI for a TV series, it's so disorienting when you're so accustomed to watching a computer animated movie, like a CGI movie, like something out of Pixar or DreamWorks or just any company in general. And they're moving so fast and they're jolting so hard that it's really hard to like grasp the idea of just trying to keep up with it. Like that's just a personal pet peeve of mine. Like I'm not saying the show is bad or anything. I've seen a few clips of the show. Um, some of the, uh, Mr. Joel Meal, thank you for hosting. Some of the names that they, uh, they come up with are catchphrases, like de-evilize or something like that. It's, 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 that just sounds hilarious. Um, but, you know, everybody has their own, uh, their own tastes and such, and that's fine. Adrian does not deserve marionette. Okay? Mm. Damn, cherries were a lot more sour than I remember. Alright, um, mixer, and... This will actually come to a good use should the game start and have a high volume. Because there have been occasions where, like, I start up a game and things get suddenly loud. And I have to, like, oh, shit, I gotta turn that down because the last thing I need is to burst people's eardrums. And I got the ad for Bounty. Boy, isn't that such an epic foreshadow of our current events, isn't it? Marinette. Oh, Wow. Oh, okay. So it's Marinette. Bounty, which are paper towels. Or is there a rear? No, Adrian. Hey, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you guys are 
arguing over the the things in the show. You know, as long as it's not, you know, no drama being stirred up in the chat, you know, it's perfectly fine if you guys want to have a discussion and not viciously argue against each other. So, hmm. Hmm. Did I play any of the first two Doom games? Yes, I have, actually. In fact, I did a stream of one of them. I was planning on doing Dooms 2 and 3, but unfortunately, I'm still trying to figure out how to adjust the um, the screen and trying to get it to work properly because when I'm zoomed outside of the window, it's just tiny, and there's no option to, re like, to enlarge it or anything like that. So it's like... It's not unplayable, but it's just, it would be too difficult of a chore to try to, um, like, try to focus on a tiny screen on a giant screen, you know, or the, the tiny window on a giant screen that I use. Uh, the other possibility is that I could set it to, Magical Star, thank you for hosting, I could set it to, because <clears throat> at one point I plan on updating the computer to have, like, two monitors, kind of like what Keyframe has, and... Have one of them just be a full screen of Doom and then just have the other end where they show all the specs like the chat and the tip jar and everything because if it's full screen, I can't read what you guys are saying. Um, I can't read off what people have done whenever I receive something in the alert box like if somebody's hosting a stream and I can't thank them for it or if somebody donates, you know, the, the list goes on. Ugh. So yeah. Uh, let's see. My friend Magical Star is scared to go to America due to potential racism due to him being black. Do you think he would still... <sighs> Alright. Let me try to level this out as possible. As far as... As far as racism is concerned, anybody who's being a racist, don't be. You know, anybody who is of any race, I respect who you are. If you're African American, you're African American. If you're Hispanic, you're Hispanic. That doesn't have any bad influence on me. And anybody who's of, you know, anything. I don't look down on people who are part of any race of some sort. Whether it's race, or gender, or religion... That's completely on you. That's up to you. Whoever you are, I respect that. Um, and as far as America is concerned, I don't think there's that big of a racial issue. Because for that matter, there's a lot of friends I have online who are Hispanic, who are African American, who are among any other race. So if... Magical Star wants to take a visit to America, he really shouldn't worry about his race. Or I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it. And I would suggest to him that he wouldn't worry about it. That's nothing to be ashamed of. If somebody actually does something like that, then that's just them being a fucking dickhole. Because nobody should look down on anybody of any race. We're all supposed to be I, I like to picture people as equal as possible. The only thing I look down on is if somebody's being a fucking shithead, like a real dick bag, and that can mean so many different things. So, wow, that got really, really serious for a second there. Um, but it it is it's it's a really big pet peeve of mine. If somebody's going to look down on somebody who is of any race, whether they're Asian or if they're um, African American, it's that that really bothers me. Nobody should be looked down on for any race they are, because if at the end of the day, we're all people, we're all humans across this entire world, and I, I think that's more of an obvious thing to do simply point out. But the fact that it still exists, I can't do much about it, but at the very least, I can actually make myself better. And I can see that a lot of people, at least those around me, have always put aside the whole whatever racial bigotry that is around. 
that, that, that really ought to just be a thing of the past. Because we're at a day and age where there's a lot more civility, we have wonderful technology, and we have a thing of socially interacting and putting aside our past bullshit. And it just... Like I said, I, I'm suddenly going places. Um, but if Magical Star is afraid of visiting America because he's partially um, African, I wouldn't worry about it. Like he, I, I would suggest to him to not worry about it because of the aforementioned. You know, I don't want to repeat myself at this point. I respect anybody who they are and hopefully a lot of people around me have the same attitude, you know, because I, because a lot of people I've interacted with, we're all on the same page. You know, I, sorry to get all political here. Um, uh, Retro Gamer Kevin, thank you for subscribing. Um, oh, wait, it says, let's see, Rainbow Dash fan gift to one, to, oh, I see, yeah, I, I keep forgetting that shit's there. Um, you're welcome, Magical Star. Um, I hope things get straightened out for you. Um, I'm not going to go into the uh, details over there. Uh, what else is missing? Oh, right. I got to start a call. What the fuck is it? And boop. There we go. All right. Uh, I think one last thing I need is to get something to have for when I start the game. I say that as I'm further away from the mic. Had it nice and cold. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm going to have to wet that off a bit. I mean, it's still going to be wetting off a bit, but it'll still be cold. And I'm going to finish off one thing of a drink. Because there isn't much of it left. Might as well just finish it up and place the two liter in the recycling bin. Did I just blow the ears out of the chat? Hey, chat. How you doing? Okay, so I'm back. Oh, shit. There he is, boys. Hi. Oh, shit. Oh. I forgot to uh, link... Um, no, uh, I don't know if network uh, networking works or not. Uh, you know what I mean, right? Networking. Uh, no, I don't. You just said a bunch of words that didn't mean anything. Okay, so networking is basically sending the link of your Twitch chat. Let's say you're going live. You want to yeah. spread that out to so many different servers, all over social media, all over the various chats, mm -hmm. and that, uh, that's, the people call that networking. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we, we can do that. Well, I'm doing that. I'm doing it. Get hype, boys. <laughs> Get hype, boys, and I do not sound like that if you're trying to make an impression. I was not trying to make an impression. I, I just. I, boys, I'm on my 50th cigarette. <laughs> You're what? Hey, logic. I'm I'm learning. I'm learning a valuable life lesson that is to expose yourself to the suffering in of in others can sometimes instill suffering within yourself. In in short, golden. I mean, fuck. I keep calling logic golden. I keep calling golden logic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys know Hollow Knight, right? Well, I've already talked to a little bit about this. Hey, Golden, you know Hollow Knight, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. So, one of the devs of the game, one of the people from Team Cherry, put mm -hmm. out some kind of riddle for people to solve in one of the chats, and they all thought that it was going to be related to this, like, to the release date for the next Hollow Knight game. And people yeah. lost their fucking minds trying to come up with dates and translate shit, even looking for random obscure stuff, like the trope of a character in the game saying shit. Mm -hmm. And they all just got the really big bombshell hint that the answer to the riddle isn't a release date. Inst yeah. So, 
now all the suffering isn't even worth it because it's not even <laughs> giving us what we fucking wanted. When you try so hard but you don't succeed. For a second there, I thought you were going to sing the Linkin Park song. I become so numb. I can feel you there. You there. <laughs> Chad, how do you like our karaoke performance? Everything you say to me. Cause I'm one step, one step closer, closer to the, the edge. And I'm about, about to break. break. I need a little, little room to breathe. <laughs> I, I just realized I'm, I just realized I'm juggling quite a bit with fucking the timing of things tonight. Again, I'm constantly watching this chat trying to decipher a riddle like a fucking hawk. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing Castle Crashes with three other people, and then Two Kinds is gonna be streaming tonight because it's Friday. Yes. My night is stacked. You got a stack night? Go to Logic, he'll unstack it for you. Logic Stack Nights. Call 1 800 Stack Nights with Logic. Luximus stack Animation Nights, Tier. No. Uh, that's up to Lux if she wants to animate that. I mean, we know other animators. Wait, do we? Or is Lux the only one? Um, we probably would know, but we wouldn't know it until we would, like, find out, like, after the stream. Like, oh, fuck, it was this person. We shouldn't have mentioned him. Or her. <laughs> There's all. There's always the Poe show, my friend. There's always the Poe show. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, Myth Pony. She does a little animation. Hmm. Oh, yeah, she does. Yeah. Dude, shouts out to Myth in chat. Myth is great. She draws really well. Hmm. Hell ye. Oh, yeah, no. Her also, artwork... shout out to Luximus. She also does art and animates really well. We have a lot of wonderful... We have a, we have a lot of wonderful artists. <laughs> we, okay. we know a lot of wonderful people in general. Ice Dragon, I don't have a favorite Zelda boss. So, great context to the people in the Twitch chat as to why I won't be able to see anything they're typing for a while. I'm looking at a text chat in another Discord server trying to decipher a riddle, and this fucking guy right here. So, <laughs> one of the people posted that the release date or a release date isn't the answer to the riddle so this random guy is just like hey dude so is this release date the release date that isn't the final answer fucking sarcastic prick <laughs> <laughs> we have a voice of reason in the chat hey voice what's going on man <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to find something nice to say to voice, which sounds shitty because now it sounds like I have nothing but bad things to say to voice. <laughs> God damn it. I've, I've dug myself in a hole. Voice, I'm sorry. Let's see. Which golf game do you think is better? Golf the Friends or Golf It? I can't really answer that because I haven't played Golf It. I will say this. I love the shit out of Golf with Your Friends. Yeah, it's fun. In case that wasn't clear enough because I talked about it before. One day... I would love to stream the fuck out of that game and watch all the chaos unfold there. <laughs> well, speaking of, um, which characters are you guys going in with for Castle Crashers? I have a feeling Dude, we I'm might. I'm the poison guy. I have a feeling we're all going to be matching each of our OC characters. So whereabouts? Like, I'm gonna have, like go for yellow. I've already played yeah, as the gold, red. You're definitely fire, my dude. Why? Okay, like, okay, this is a bit of a question of my own. Why is the red lightning and yellow fire? Wouldn't it make sense for red to be fire and yellow to be lightning? Well, I, I'm not it's the devil. Yellow, it's orange. And like fire is more orange than it is red. And blue is already ice. Yeah, that already matches. And green for like, poison? Yeah. It's like green for poison, orange for fire, and blue for ice. I guess it's like, they could have gone a bright yellow, but they also liked keeping their retinas. <laughs> I would also like to keep my retinas in any situation. <laughs> it's, like, a bright, it's like, imagine a bright, saturated Pikachu lightning yellow. That, like, how saturated are we talking? Because that's where you lose it. You know when people make jokes about how toxic those here is a saturated green? 
Oh no. I see where you're going. Right there, right. the yellow. Somebody asked me a question in the chat. Uh, what is your, your favorite? Hear that bad. What is your what is your favorite Warhammer fantasy faction? And do you play Total Warhammer? What the hell is nope. that? I don't know. He should have asked me the question backwards. He should have asked me, "What do you play Warhammer?" <laughs> and if so, what is your favorite Warhammer fantasy? What the hell what the does what, what the hell the fuck does is a Warhammer fantasy? That Warhammer, sounds like a Warhammer War, wet dream. Another Warhammer. question. Okay. Another question is, who is your favorite robot master? Like, what do you mean by robot master? Like, this is like. Robot Monster as a Mega Man. Oh my I'm god! It's so hard to make this answer lewd, but <sighs> I can't. God damn it, personal lover. 21. I, I can't pronounce it right. <laughs> it was just a fucking accident! <laughs> why do you why do you have to clap to enunciate your point? I don't fucking Annoyingly. know. Annoyingly, contrary for emphasis. Let my boy be fire yellow. Wait, no, hold on. I can hold on. I can do that. Annoying yeah. country for emphasis. Oh, you did it. There we go. A little charade at the end there. Dude, did you did you hit up someone? I I would thought he would know. Okay, hang on. Let me tag him. Okay. Because I got a cold one. I'm ready to crack. Oh no! Like right. I want to. What I want to do is. I would like give a little speech like, all right, boys, tonight we're gonna grab our weapons, we're gonna charge the frigate, we're gonna dine in hell. But first, on the count of three, we crack a cold one. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> we are the knights that say. First, I thought he's I can't gonna make say. That joke funny. I can't make that joke funny. <laughs> first, I thought he was gonna say he was gonna. We're, we're gonna... <laughs> gonna say we're gonna we're gonna grab our balls and take it for some reason <laughs> momentarily oh, no. wait golden do you want to be the best thing what so if you make a highlight reel for the um castle crashers yeah for castle crashes you should title is like you should title our like multiplayer segment unless it's going to be its own self-contained highlight video mm. you should title it we are the knights that say fuck <laughs> <laughs> We are the knights that say, "Fuck you, boy!" <coughs> Don't add that cough. That wasn't part of this. That wasn't part of this. <laughs> wow. We are the knights that say. <coughs> Dude, all I'm imagining that, is like a knight, but with like a face mask over his helmet. <laughs> we are COVID. We are COVID knights team. <laughs> God damn it! Wait, what? <laughs> what happened? What? Did did you just make a pun of the virus? COVID yes, nights team. Oh my god. Why? Why? Oh my god. No no no, hear me out. I wanted to see how long it would take before somebody in the Twitch chat complains about it like man we do. COVID nineteen is very serious virus. You should never get it. Knights of the fuck you table. You shouldn't, using, <laughs> you shouldn't be using humor to escape the depression and the sadness. You should just take it and be super serious. Fuck off, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I, think, I think that's the most British you have ever gotten. Like, can you say fuck off, yeah, again? <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, yeah. <laughs> fuck off, yeah. <laughs> that is the most British I've ever heard logic be. Ask Wolfhead. No, wait. We are the knights who say, God fucking damn it. <laughs> I feel like we would be saying a lot of that during this stream because, first of all, the, the first part of the stream is going to be a breeze, but then shit will start kicking us in the nuts very fast. Oh, no, not like, to mention, not to mention, there's actually, like, I don't know if this happens in every stage, but at the end yeah. of the first stage, there's a fucking cock contest. Literally, like, you fight to get the chick. A cock contest. All right. Well, I guess that's a contest I'm gonna have to win. And, uh, <laughs> you say that while Solar down in the gallows. Yeah, like you say that while Solar goes kicking everybody's asses. Like I'm willing to bet you that if this is gonna become a running theme where Solar kicks everyone's ass and just scores all the chicks. <laughs> like fuck you, Solar. You fucking asshole. You used us. <laughs> hey guys, I just thought something funny. 
Well, because this is going to be like ye olde times with knights and shit. Instead of Sola coming in saying something like, where's my fucking fruit? He'd instead say, may I ascertain the whereabouts of my fucking fruit? <laughs> <laughs> whereabouts a be- God damn it, I can't talk like I'm from the fucking 18th century. No, trying to I talk in the medieval- I can't talk in the medieval times to save a goddamn life. Excuse me, my lady. Would you care to show me your frock, or whatever the fuck it is? <laughs> my lady, may I ascertain the whereabouts of that coop? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Shut the hole in your face. I need to make sure I'm using the right word. I'm go I'm googling that. Nobody back then said cooch. <laughs> chat. Do we have any geniuses in the chat? Do we yeah, have any? Is an actual word. I'm not wrong. Do we have any historians in the chat? Can you correct us? People in the chat with the wear of Solo. I believe the correct term is "May I ascertain the whereabouts of Solo?" Yes, I'm going to be doing that whole stream for you. Now, well, there's just something I'm curious about. You talked about Sonic X, and I knew uh, you have a dislike of Who, but I never Who. But did you ever hear of Cosmo and the Sidri? Sidri? I know who Cosmo is, and honestly, like, okay, I don't have a personal vendetta on her as I did with fucking Chris, but it just felt like Cosmo was, like, a throw-in to be a love interest for Tails for a short period of time. At least for that's the longest time, I believe you were talking about Cosmo from the Fairy on there. No! Well, now I'm just wrong and sad. <laughs> so... What are you eating? You better be eating chips, goddammit. Yes, what, what Nachos. Is Do you know how I made a fucking Corona joke earlier? Yeah. Yes. So, in that same text chat and the other server I mentioned earlier, somebody actually looked up the definition of Corona, and there are two definitions yeah. here. I'll read them out to you guys. Corona definition one, a part of the body resembling or likened to a crown. Definition two, the rarefied gaseous and envelope envelope of the sun and other stars the sun's corona is normally visible only during a total solar eclipse when it is seen as an irregularly shaped pearly glow surrounding the darkened disk of the moon okay <clears throat> so one is space <laughs> i sound like the most disgruntled scientist of all time retro no, no, listen here you gotta you gotta listen retro one is space and one is a head I, I just want to say so, hold on, hold on, uh, guys, hold on a second. Retro Gamer Kevin, it's not that big of a deal if you have me ramble on about uh, Chris Thorndike. It's actually more hilarious when Riley goes into depth about Chris Thorndike. Also, I just like the name Thorndike. Those are two words that shouldn't be together, but they are. Thorndike sounds like the kind of guy who would constantly be asking people not to call him Thorndike. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, we got a package for Mr. Thorndick. It's Thorndike, <laughs> god damn it! And Mr. Thorndike. We are. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of the Buzz Lightyear TV series? Yeah, I remember that. It was eh. It was a meh. It, it was a snooze fest. It was a it big meh. Golden. Buzz is trying to fight fucking aliens in space. Golden is trying to fight fucking drowsiness from watching the show. Like <laughs> <laughs> roll uh, shithead itch. What? I didn't know right, that there guys, was a let's take roll. Uh, shithead. It's shithead. What? What? It's the same name. You can't do the joke if it's the same name. Man, Let's look alien! Where? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, it's Mr. Shithead to you. Uh -huh. I shall give you an F on your report card. At least the movie of the 2D Buzz Lightyear had Tim Allen. Hmm. Do you guys think Tim Allen is funny? <laughs> Here and there. <laughs> He was funny in Galaxy I'm Quest. I'm sorry if this, is a, if this is a hot button issue, but I was thinking the other day, I was like, Tim Allen funny. Uh, 
that anyone, <laughs> I believe that anyone has the potential to be funny. I mean, there are some people that try to be funny and just aren't funny. No, but, and yeah, I can't so tell if Tim Allen is... Anyone has yeah. the potential to be funny. They just need to find the humor that they excel at. Because everyone has a humor that can work well with them if they can be bothered to look for it and eventually find it. Because it's impossible to not have a small part of you that's at least a little funny. I mean, Tim Allen killed Santa, so... I mean, that wasn't funny. That was horrific for a kid's film. Yeah. Uh, what? Okay. To say that he killed Santa, I think that's a little overblown. Because all he did, he just heard, heard noise on the rooftop, and he wanted to know what the fuck it was, so he went out and went, Hey, you! And then all of a sudden, it's Santa, and he slipped off. It was a distraction and an accident waiting to happen as he slid off and pretty much broke, broke. his ass apart on the cold <laughs> ground. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Allen Kids, killing. you don't want to break your ass bone. Most of your vital organs are in there. Tim Allen killing Santa before the Dragon Ball Z bridge made it funny. If nobody knows on No, we're just about, saying Tim Allen Dragon was the Ball voice Z of Bridge Buzz movie. in the mainstream movie, so... Well, no shit he was the voice of Buzz. I mean, what next? Are you going to say that Tom Hanks was Woody? I didn't know that! <laughs> <laughs> Stop shitting on your audience, goddammit. I will not stand for <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Ask Golden which is better, Classic Family Guy or Modern Family Guy? Classic. Well, on the count of three. One, two, three, classic. 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 Why have I been tagged in a video with a thumbnail with Buzz and the dog when I was the only individual <laughs> who wasn't season? talking about it? Something it the shaggy season? dog Dave goes to Infinity and Beyond or some shit. Why am I being pinged in this? <laughs> I didn't say Is it from season? Yet. It probably may be. It's probably from season. The shit that she'll post. Then why the question guy? Tag me in it. Why oh. do I need to see this? Tell one of the people who are talking about Buzz. Tell one of the people who chat. <laughs> That's not even me being mean. I'm just bewildered. I'm just bewildered and confused. Remember, too much pink energy is a good thing. Is a bad thing. I almost said it's a good thing because I associate pink with good things. Nothing dangerous is pink. See, over the pits, uh-oh, bad flashbacks. Which are what the about the pink slime chicks from Shantae? Oh, good. no, I love the slime chicks. See, Logic, they're just misunderstood. <laughs> if they just had some love in their lives, they would be a lot nicer. Maybe if they weren't constantly trying to fucking roar you, they'd get some. I mean... Well, I mean, they're getting some either way. You get my point. Yeah, that's where I was going with that one. I still think they're cool, though. Personal Funny. Lover 21. Uh, the favorite game that I have done so far on the stream would probably have to be Super Metroid. And that's personal bias because I love playing that game. We're the knights who say looking balls. <laughs> oh, We're Tetris 2. Yeah, Tetris 2. No, that one was just like... That one was just... He was... Fucking Solar was invented right on the spot. Solar, you're seeing this shit. I'm witnessing it with my own looking balls. <laughs> <laughs> looking balls? Yes, looking balls. My fucking eyes. <laughs> you guys ever sprain a muscle in your looking ball? Ow! And then you, and then you need to go to your mom and be like, Mom, my balls you... hurt. <laughs> uh, I need to go to the doctor. You have no idea just what was fucking just the madness that just occurred not too long ago oh oh boy uh you want to tell us uh i was rolling a character because we were gonna uh because john was gonna run a one-shot campaign i was like okay cool uh i'm just gonna go like get my stats rolled and shit real quick before i before i go over here and uh i rolled an 18 in literally every single set all fucking six of them which is the highest that you can go <laughs> which feasibly is technically possible but the odds of which are actually happening are like um 
astronomically low. Let's put him like that. And, and, and John, bless his heart, he was like, you know what? This is a one shot and you're never gonna roll this again. You can use these stats. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd be pissed oh. if someone told me I couldn't off to rolls like that. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's, that's, that's what I was doing. I was getting the framework for my character down. And, um, oh. yeah, I've got a, I got a character that has a fucking 18. Technically, he has a 20 in two things now. Because it's a level 10 one shot, of course. So, yeah, just, ooh. <laughs> oh boy! Oh. This has been this has been a solar moment. Uh, I just want to say this was impeccable timing because not too long ago, I was just talking about the moments from like last year's gaming, and we brought up Tetris Two, and you said looking balls. Oh, don't even. That that even just goes on top of what our regular fucking D and D session today was about, which was literally oh, one of our party members died, so we're gonna go on a quest to get him resurrected. And, yeah, we had to end up... It, w it was a very serious one all around. Everybody was just, like, very no-nonsense about it. We got to fight a giant fucking spectral wolf that was essentially guarding our friend. Nice. So, that was that was nice. Um, yeah, they got to see what a monk that was currently under the effects of haste looked like, and it was... Uh, pain. Pain. Oh, shit. The hell's going on? Solar, you're cutting out. I'm gonna kill myself, how about... <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, I'm gonna kill myself, how about... <laughs> why, why, why? I'm gonna just start putting that... Okay, there we go. I, I am adjusting my settings accordingly so I can actually, like, listen to people. That might have been what it was. It was all of a sudden you were just like, okay, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm uh, <laughs> something like. That. I think it was just that the uh, the audio was really loud, and when you're playing games and trying to talk on Discord, it cuts out a lot. Ah. So if you lower the volume, it's not. It, I, I've noticed whenever I lower the volume to a more tolerable level, I suppose, it just it, it happens a lot less often. So I'm pretty sure they're tied somehow. Anyways, uh, do we have like a fucking lobby for this going, or what's what's the dealio? I'm actually ready. I was waiting for you to join in before I uh, would start up the game. So, um, I think it's about time we go ahead and get this shit rolling. Oh, what? You're not in the game already? No, I haven't started up yet. You fucking scrub lord. Anyway. <laughs>